Titties are titties? No, his titties are titties. Everyone's titties are titties today? All right, y'all ready? There was like a post that said, um, how many puppies did you have? <laughs> how many puppies did you have? Damn, imagine if someone really told you that. Like, there, somebody wrote some it on, like, on, a, on a comment of this guy. Like he took a picture. He <laughs> said, how many puppies did you have? So these are the internal podcasts. <laughs> and we just love each other so much that we're going to talk shit to each other. I'm sure you guys have friends like that, but it's also like podcast, baby. Most authentic, most organic podcast out here. Like always. <laughs> better clap they better clap <laughs> you already know dusko got genesis to my left it got pepe to my right and then we have becca what's good y'all all the way far far right uh -huh. <laughs> she just hopped in the back of the trunk and when we landed here we we're like mm -hmm. hey i'm here too yeah. like oh shit yeah you're trying to Basically. say there's no headphones she said i don't need them yeah, she was like, no, no, no. You guys. But no, nah, but big big shout out to Kanye Rumbar here in downtown LA, man, for letting us host our show, you know, hosting us for the last couple episodes. If y'all need good music, need good vibes, you know, a good place to be, right here in downtown LA, Kanye Rumbar, you know, be second home every now and then when we want to act out and, in the words of Becca, you know, shake, shake, shake some ass. <laughs> but, Life motto. But as routine, man, the, our internal podcast is kind of our therapy session also. And they've been hosted by my main guy out here, Pepe, who does his research, his homework. Like, this guy has paragraphs of questions for us. And hopefully we can get through most of them if we get right to the point. So, See, but the thing is, is I do research, right? And then I post a little question to the audience. Way, and then I'm like, hey, what do you all want to know? What questions do you guys want answered? So it's kind of like a team effort, you know? Between you and the public? Between me and the public. ¿Cómo se acerca esto más, güey? Eso está bien, güey. No, güey, te quiero escuchar, güey. Eso está bien, güey. Ah, ya ves, ya ves. Porque tú dices unas cosas bien cabronas. Así está. Es two hands. Looks about right. Wow, we're wild, man. All right, baby. Start us off, though. Let's start. First question. What excites you the most about life? Starting with me right away. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's um, go. I think right now in my season, what excites me the most is the plans I have coming up. Um, going back to school, you know, that's gonna be done real quick. And um, yeah, and then after that, we have a little surprise of what we're working on. So. Oh, all right. <laughs> what excites me out of life right now is the places we get to be with the people we're around, which is our group. You know, being able to spend more time with my kids. Um, and honestly, just progressing every week, every month, and as a unit progressing too, getting closer to each other. Um, the podcast moving really good. So, you know, just making our dreams reality, making my dream a reality. So that's literally what excites me every day, even when it's a, you know, a gloomy day like today. I see the sunlight. Insert sad Get music. Cute. Get cute. <laughs> what excites you, big guy? <laughs> We're gonna keep it PG. So. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I, we're gonna, 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 we're gonna turn off mic number four over there because it's. Am I breathing too hard? <laughs> Why? No. I'm what kidding. excites me the most uh, in at life. this moment? Yes. The uncertainty. Oh. Yeah. You don't know what's coming up next. Couple, couple months ago, I didn't see myself here, and now it's every week. It's something different. So I think that's what excites me. Not knowing what's going to come, just knowing that something is going to come. Thanks. Love that. Um, I feel like my life is pretty, like, uh, like monotone. Like, it's always, like, the same thing every day. Like, I work at night. During the daytime, I'm just home sleeping. So, definitely, I look forward to and I get excited to come to podcasts and just, like, meet people. Um, like, whether it's, like, add additions to our group or, like, um, some of the guests that we have here. It's pretty interesting. Pretty it's pretty fun. It's nice to hear other people's stories. Always is. Yeah. All right. I'm going I'm to throw in a, a quote real quick. Kind of just a, like, we're going to go question, quote, and kind of go from there. So okay. just your reactions, yeah. your guys' reactions to this. The distance you kept when I was struggling, I need you to double it when I'm up. 
Facts. Stand on your business. Not standing on your business. <laughs> so we stand on business. Huh? Stand on business on this side. Man. If this is you keep when I was struggling, you need to double it when I'm up. That's right. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, that was good. I, I think it's just kind of, it sums everything up where everything has been progressing at the rate mm -hmm. that we've always wanted it to and what we hope for. And then everything that's happening right now, it's like how you said before, like we used to pray for shit like yeah. this. We used to pray for moments like this. We used to pray for us to be this way, which is happy, confident, and and wanting more. So I think that's what it is. Like if you weren't here when I was down and out, struggling, asking for help, don't mm -hmm. come now that I don't need it. Yeah. Now that I'm up, now that I'm happy, now that I'm su in success, succeeding, like don't come then. If you're not answering the phone when I need you then, mm -hmm. right now, I ain't even calling you. I don't even need you anymore. Mm -mm. I need you then, not Who now. Who is this? <laughs> hey, you see their name? Who's this? Mm. I don't yeah. even, I'm not, honestly, I won't even answer. I wouldn't answer. My, you're pretty petty. You'd answer and say, hey, who's this? Yeah, yeah you might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, but hit it was the question. Can you recall a pivotal moment that changed the course of your life? Ooh, I'm going to have to recircle that recircle one. Recircle that one? You want to run that one? Yeah. I mean, um, 100%, like, when I was pregnant and lost my baby, um, obviously, like, it's, like, it was a drastic change for me. It was obviously, like, one of the toughest times of my life. But also, like, being where I am now, like, now that I think back to it, it was probably, like, something that I'm very, very thankful for because if I never went through that loss, like, I probably would not be, like, the person that I am today. Mm -hmm. So I'm very... It makes me sad, obviously, when I think about it, but I'm very grateful that I experienced that. And I'm glad that it was, like, my battle and not, like, anybody else that I love because it's something hard to go through. So I'm glad it was me. What was the question again, Paul? I actually deleted it. Oh, man, that's crazy. No, I want fur. I want it to be organic because some people okay. say we're not organic, you know? A pivotal moment mm -hmm. in life is putting myself first. I'm making the decisions now because I know this is what's best for me. And in order for me to take care of my loved ones, be the best friend, be the best partner, be the best Luis that I could be, be the best person. I need to put myself first because I, I stand on this 10 toes down where I cannot take care of anybody. I cannot lead a team. I cannot lead anybody if I'm not 100 percent on my game. So pivotal moment is actually realizing that making everybody happy isn't working. I have to be selfish and put myself first and then everything else works out um, the way it needs to be. So honestly, same here. <laughs> my dad got on my ass for saying honestly and like, so I'm going to try not to say that. But, but um, like, but like um, so a bit of a moment, same thing as you, um, just learning how to put the focus back on myself. I mean. Um, you guys know I went through a really dark stage. And then um, after that, it was just, I don't know. I got closer to God. And I think he was another pivotal moment in my life where, like, um, Jay Valentino has said that um, I stopped being like, why God? Instead of being like, you know what? I'm grateful for all the bad and the good. Yeah. So it was just like that switch of mindset, definitely. Yeah. That is perfect. So, quote. The qu let, me, let me answer the question. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Moment, a pivotal moment that changed the course moment. of my life. Just joining the pod? Yeah. It changed oh, my really life, the course oh. of my life right now, completely. What was it, a year ago? I didn't know who I was. I was sad and depressed. I didn't know, I didn't have much to like really do or look forward to. Now it's, I look forward to coming to the podcast every single weekend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's one of those things that it just changed my life for the better. Man, thank you. And no, thank again, you. They, no, thank you. Thank, thank you guys for being a part of this. I did. I think that's one of the things that I tell, and I'm always very excited to tell people about. Because the one time, the last time actually, when uh, Mr. Sour Apple, shout out to their management PR team, amazing. That uh, threw, they threw their event here at at a kind of rum bar, and someone asked me like, "Oh, like, dude, you you carry a big team?" I'm like, "Bro, that's my family. Like, these are the people, the same people that when things were not popping off." Were, weren't recognized, weren't invited to a lot of places that they stood around every week, whether we had a blue check coming in or we had someone that had no check coming in, like they were still there. So yeah. these are the people that I'm going to roll 100% for. And no matter what happens through this storm, 
Like these are the, the same people that are riding with me in these low moments are the same people that are going to be able to enjoy the highs, which is what we're literally living through now. And it's like, bro, we're barely touching the surface. Mm -hmm. So I need everybody That's to right. understand that, like, get yourself a, a get yourself a team, a group of friends that, you know, how I said before, they don't they don't need you for anything. They just need you to be you. And you guys vibe off vibe off of it. You guys love each other. You guys enjoy each other's company and honestly if, like if you guys can't talk shit to each other then you're not really friends <laughs> right because when this group we talk a lot of shit and sometimes it hurts but we, we know it comes from a good place except when jose tells me i'm i'm, I'm a little big and then you oh, know that's when it hurts because he's buff <laughs> prime strength though shout out to them big guy that's that's a big guy over there all right check this quote out the best lesson i've learned was the was to fight for the relationship i love instead of fighting against the person i love Yeah. Can you go and uh, can you repeat that? The best lesson I've learned was to fight for the relationship I love instead of fighting against the person I love. I think I've learned that a lot lately in um, past relationships. Um, just more of it's not me against you. It's us two it's against, against the, the problem. problem. Yeah. And I feel like our pride gets in the way way too much where it's like, no, you did this wrong. You did this wrong. And I even learned myself instead of saying like, oh, you did X, Y, and Z. It's like, hey, um, you did this and it made me feel this type of way. Mm -hmm. Instead of being like, oh, um, you, 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 you. It's yeah. like, I feel this type of way because X, Y, and Z. Yeah. You mm -hmm. get me? So it's more of, it should be two people against the problem instead of like mm -hmm. each other. Mm -hmm. That's facts. Boom. All right, Bob. Get us. What's been the most influential person in your journey and why? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Which one's yours? Who's you? Yours? Who's mine? If I were to say career-wise and where I see my life going future-wise, I would say the friend that got me the job where I'm currently at right now. His name's Ricardo, so shout out Ricardo. And then obviously Luis for allowing me into the pod. If I were to say who, like my life journey as a whole, I'd say my mom. Mm -hmm. oh. My mom. I would not say anybody else but my mom. She's been the most influential person in my life. She's always believed in me. She's always rooted for me. And it can be the smallest thing, and she'll still be proud no matter what. Mm -hmm. So it's always been my mom and will probably always be my mom. I love that. What about you guys? Becca? Um, yeah, probably the same as you, like, in life. Probably my parents. Well, just my family, like, my sisters, my brother, my parents. Um, just because it's always nice to know that, like, you have like that group of people behind you. Um, but besides yeah, that, like definitely Luis, just cause like, look at where we're at right now. Right. Like, and it's dope. Like what we've, what he's been doing is dope. The people he puts us on is dope. Um, and just like everything, like even just, even what's not on camera, it's like, we always have a good time. We always have really good conversations, even before camera. Yeah. During COVID time, me and him had like dope ass conversations. They were not recorded. Was yeah. it before COVID or probably during COVID? Yeah. So it's, yeah, like definitely you in my social life or in my outside of my family life, basically. I love that. Thank you. I love you. I love you. Mine would definitely be my family as well. Um, I feel like they always push me to do better. You know, my mom's always been like my rock. She's like, yeah, go do it. Go do it. Have fun. You know, my dad was always a little bit harder for, um, on me, but I saw why he was hard on mm -hmm. me, you know, um, he, like you said that last on that quote, um, your parents will have that one child you're always hard on. Yeah. And I feel like I'm that child, you know? <laughs> but it's like, look what I'm doing now, mm -hmm. you know? Like a couple years ago, I was in bed. I couldn't get out of bed. And it's like, now I can do this. And yeah. I'm seeing how far they got, you know, with the, in their positions of not even like being from here, yeah. taking how they got there from to here mm -hmm. and just taking it to the next level now. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I think for the most... I, I, I can't keep it to like one most influential right now because I think the people that have came into my life from like January up until now, like, you know, we established our relationship from San Diego and, you know, I have Chris out there, Myron, I have a uh, Jose out there, Gino that, you know, showed us love when we didn't even, yeah, mm, like, that's true. you know, they showed us a home, bro. And, and to be around them, to enjoy times with them out there is definitely one of those like, amazing feelings not just because we go out there and we hang out but 
you know, when you'll know a real friend when you can have a conversation for over an hour and you're like, damn, mm-hmm. I think we got to go back to work, fool, because or I got to <laughs> do other things like it's and I always tell them like Jose knows like, yo, like we just had a podcast right now. We have an hour, hour and a half conversation I'm like and that's just us catching up, us talking and, you know, you guys, because again, I can't I can't express this. I can't stress it enough that the team that I have now they always want to progress on their own and drive themselves to be better individually that when we come together, it's like, yo, like I need to step up because they're doing good things. I need to do good things. Also, I want to be able to come and have dinner, come and hang out with them, come to the podcast with them and talk about things that are happening. They're like, okay, cool. We're progressing. We're not wasting time. Yeah. And that's what I tell people. like, yo, like outside of the podcast, everybody's great inside the podcast. We're all great. So when we come together, yeah, we're even better. bro, it's, it's even better. It's, yeah. it's literally a unit. And I saw like the uh, Jose does a great job of, of standing behind the camera and, and taking care of everything. But that guy has a full on fitness business that still makes time, not just for us, but dude, like this kid just flew out to Texas for one of his athletes. Like, again, like things like that, where it's like, you're not just local no more. We're, yeah. we're literally all over the country and our voice and, and our videos and our personalities are reaching so many other people mm-hmm. that is just like, all right. Because we're all so real outside of this. Yeah. It's like we all go back to either a nine to five or a yeah. business that one of you guys own. Yeah, that's why. And it's I'm- like saying like you have to be careful. Well, be close. Like, be aware of who's in your circle. Right. You know, you hang out. They say like that one I'm saying. You hang out with five billionaires. It's only yeah. for you to be the six. Yeah. You know, so now I feel like that's us. It's like we leave here and we're still on our grind. We're still mm-hmm. working on our own stuff. Yeah. And then we come here and it's like we just start collaborating with each other, that's showing crazy. each other what we're doing, supporting each other. Yeah, it's so crazy. I love that. Yeah. All right, check this one out. Let it let it sink in and then. If I cry, I cry. <laughs> nah, and this one's not a cry. <laughs> Letting shit slide to keep the peace starts a war inside of you. That part. 100%. I agree. Yeah. Elaborate, por favor. I've done that before in a uh, past relationship where I kept the, you know, I was like, you know what, let me just stay quiet. Let me stay quiet. And then one day it blew up and lights out, you know. I stayed quiet for a while just to keep a couple friends. Mm -hmm. And the minute I said something, done. And it's like, I, I only had a question. Like, I questioned your friendship. All you have to do was confirm, Reassure support, it. and love me, and you couldn't yeah. do that. But I literally didn't say nothing for yeah. X amount of time because I was like, no, these are my friends. Mm-hmm. These are my friends. Like, they love me. We've been friends for X many years and, like, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, definitely keeping quiet just to keep the peace. Yeah, It'll, it'll do something in your head. And I'm, like, at a time of my life where, like, I'm just going to say it because... I want to sleep at night and I hate losing sleep over people. So, or over situations or anything like that. So I, I said it and I hate waiting to lost a couple friends. I hate waiting to tell someone how I feel when like, if you have that relationship, that back and forth relationship, I should be able to tell you how I feel at, whether whether it's at that moment or not like well it's like the, when we got into the argument this week <laughs> i was so mad at him and we both hung up we're like whatever bye you know we i didn't, wasn't mad I was yeah sure. anyways I was but sure. we both couldn't go to sleep so i was like all right are we done can we even sleep. if it is to agree sleep. to disagree you, you actually know. woke him up from his sleep. i know <laughs> whatever Thought of something later hold up i hung hold up, up and i still had this to two say. plus two didn't equal four the time the math was the math mathing. wasn't mathing it's equal fish. even the girl math wasn't mathing <laughs> That's true, <laughs> man. Yeah, that, I think that's just it. If you have a good relationship with your with your people, with whoever it is, mm-hmm. you should be able to tell them exactly how they feel, and vice versa. It they should be, should be able the whole time, yeah. even yeah. if it is agreed to disagree. Yeah, yeah. I think friendships they're gonna be disagreements where you may you know bicker at each other a little bit, but you know you come back and be like, stop playing. I was right. You were wrong. I don't know about that, but oh. yeah, am I those right. <laughs> I was not by now. Oh, baby, please save us. No, save no, no. Us. Next I'm question. Not saving, no. Next I mean, question. Let's, Next let's, question. Let's, Next let's question. Let's question. Dig a little deeper on that one, right? No. No. That's it. No. Why not? Well, let's no. not. I'm like, no. cut the cameras. Oh. Break time. Cut the cameras. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. No, no. No. Let's say you don't agree, right? Let's say you do things mm-hmm. like, let's say things do blow up a little bit. 
how do you deal with uh, conflict within a friendship, right? How do you deal with conflict within a friendship? Man, I, I've heard it before, and I'm, I forgot where I'm going to quote this, but if you are my friend, I love you, you love me, we're good. We'll let this, we'll let this settle how you said. You're going to have your view, I'm going to have my view, but I love you. I'm going to stand with you. I'm going to stand for you no matter what happens. It's okay to have different views as long as it doesn't affect us when we're a unit. Mm -hmm. Like, together, we're powerful. As long as this here stays good and we've resolved whatever we need to resolve, like, if you need to get something off your chest, tell me, please. I I need you to tell me because I don't want to be sitting here and then in how, how they say, three people will tell you the truth. Little kids, someone that's drunk, someone that's mad. I don't want you to tell me something later when we've, thought we were good for the last couple of weeks, months. Yeah. Like, hey, tell me now, because I love you. You should be able to trust me with how you feel and your feelings. And I should be able to do the same. Same thing. If we're getting into an argument, okay, cool. Let's take some time. But whether we we come back back at it that same night or the next day, mm-hmm. or hey, let's let's go, let's go out to eat. Let's go, mm-hmm. you know, let's go talk about this. Cool. We're done. Like I love you enough. You love me enough. Let's move on. We we're still rocking. What about you? How do you deal with conflict? I stay quiet. I don't say nothing. Mm. So you don't deal with it. I I mean, not for a while. Red flag. Like, not Red until flag? no, like I just don't want to say something to make the situation worse. So I will stay quiet until I'm calm enough to like really be able to express myself. Like I will my notes are full of like things I want to say to people. Like people that I've not even like had a situation like uh relationships with in years that I still feel like they're pending in my head. So I still write them messages on my phone. Because I'm never going to, well, those probably won't send them. But, like, just in my current relationships, like, yeah, I just stay quiet. I don't say nothing until I find the right words to say to express exactly how I'm feeling. Because if I'm upset, I'm not going to say the right things. And then I'm just going to, like, add fuel to the fire. And I'm a very calm person, you guys. I don't like to fight with people. <laughs> so I stay quiet. Wait, until wasn't I can she bo- trying to box you? Yes, the other day? she you know was. What? started it this morning. San Diego, that show's crazy. What about you? How do you I wasn't that? even there. She wasn't either. I was <laughs> not there. <laughs> I wasn't there. I wasn't there. Who was oh, that? Man. How do you deal with that? Um, funny that you say that. Shout out to Carol. You know, she's also my esthetician. You know, but uh, shout out. we're fix, sending her an invoice. Don't trip. <laughs> no free shout outs. Yeah. Here no, more. no. <laughs> you're tripping. Whatever. The fix <laughs> like, delete it. <laughs> Cut. Okay. Because no, gonna... um, me and her actually just got into it's funny because we're always like, oh, my God, I felt like a breakup, you know. Uh, but well, we well, the way I handle it is um, she was upset with me and totally understandable. You know, um, I gave her her space until she was ready. And then after. You know, I gave her a couple of days. I kind of noticed something because she wasn't replying to me. So I'm like, oh, it's okay. You know, I understand people deal with things differently. But after a couple of days, I was like, hey, you've been quiet. You know, let me know when you're ready to talk, you mm-hmm. know. And then she was like, okay, can we have a grown conversation? I'm like, yes. Damn. And yeah, we sat there. We talked about it. And I told her at the end of the day, I'm like, it hurt me knowing that you were holding on to this. I was like, I see you as my sister. Like, come talk to me. Like, even in that moment, if it's just like, agree to disagree you know Mm -hmm. like it's okay but i want the people around me to know like if you feel some type of way you're more than welcome to tell me on the spot and i'm not gonna hold it against you because at the end of the day we're all human you know even when i'm upset like i hope that other person will eventually hear me out and hear why or be open enough to listen yes yeah (laughs) man that what uh let's go before we take we take the little break but J. Cole said this. It always rains hardest on the people who deserve the sun. Mm-hmm. Man. I feel like, yes. And then also, like, it's not really, like, the people, but, like, just in the time that you deserve the most. It's like, let me just storm on you real quick, just so you can be grateful for the things. For what's coming. Yeah. Like, it's, like, preparing you for what's to come. Nice little refresh. I think it's a, it's a big, how Becca say it, it's a test. Mm-hmm. Like, before I give you everything that you wanted, I'm going to test you first. Mm-hmm. Is this really what you want? And are you willing to go and get it? No because, rain, no flowers. Yeah. What, no what was rain, that quote no that flowers. you said it like about a year ago? No rain, no flowers. If there's no rain, you don't get flowers. So you got to go through it. 
to get some flowers. Yeah. All right, check this out. Study. I hate giving up on people, but I hate forcing things even more. Yeah. Hundred percent. If someone can elaborate on what that makes you reflect on, or what bring what comes to mind when you hear that, I hate giving up on people, but I hate forcing things even more. It's almost like when you're asking somebody just to love you, right? You can't ask somebody to love you. They're gonna love you however they can, but you can't be like, "Please love me more." Like, I deserve more. Like, I do this. I deserve more. Like, yeah. you can't. That's facts. Like, there's there's different ways to love too. Um, you can't expect someone to know your love language on them when they don't know how to love in your love language. Or, like, they're doing the best that they can. Mm-hmm. And obviously, if you can't accept that, then you're not the one, I guess. Yeah. Dang. Love that. All right, Pep. Hit us with a question. Damn. Did you want to elaborate on that? <laughs> no. You, <laughs> why, why force things, right? Why force why things? Why force things? So there's red flags and you know them. Why force it? <laughs> they look you know, pink. Uh, <laughs> I'm colorblind. <laughs> I don't see color. They all look beige to me. I don't see red, only green. <laughs> Wasn't it a white flag? They're all beige flags. Uh, no, no, no. So before the little break, uh, Jen mentioned she almost broke up with Carolina as a friend. Have anyone else here, have you guys had a friendship breakup? And if so, what did it teach you? For me, at least that breakup really taught me to um, just kind of grow up a little bit more. Um, try to take other people's consider- uh, feelings into consideration a lot more than I thought. And then just how we approach things. Now it's like when we have an issue or a problem, it's, hey, can we have a grown conversation? Or, hey, um, I need to talk to you and it's, it's for real. Like, I yeah. need you to not. Or sometimes, you know, she's she has a problem, I have a problem, and it's like, do you need me to tell you the truth or do you need me to just listen at this point? Yeah. Mm. Like, do you need me to, what you want me to tell you what you want to hear? Or do you want me to tell you the truth? Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's like, no, I just need you to hear me out. Cool. Got it. You know, sometimes, okay. and, or sometimes it's like, Hey, she's checking me or I'm checking her. You know, I think that's what taught us. I mean, we we're friends for like 10 plus years. So, you know, it just went from like, Oh, like, why aren't you hanging out with me? You know, all the time. So it's like, Oh no, we're grown. We both have yeah. our own business. We all have to, we have things to do. Yeah. I think a uh, relationship, I'm going to refer to my guy that's taking a little trip up north right now. Um, but I feel like sometimes, like, friendships, as much as you want to have someone around you or you feel like, yo, this is my brother, this is this is my best friend, you know, sometimes life happens and, you know, sometimes you go in different directions and that's okay. The problem there is, how you said, there has to be a communication of exactly – what you need from me and what I need from you and where we're at in life. You know, like, obviously, there's always going to be other people that come come into play. There's always going to be other people that come into your circle. The thing there is just, like, what's the relationship between me and you? Like, my guy, shout out to shout out to my brother, Alex. Like, we took a we took a two year break, literally from being brothers daily, every day together from high school to uh, college to literally just a couple years ago. And we took a two 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 year break, and we literally, because external people were involved, and to me and him ran into each other, and we're like, we need to have this conversation, mm-hmm. and it wasn't even like, oh, like we need to talk or not. Like literally went up to him, like, yo, I love you, bro. Thank you for everything you've done for me and everything you did for me. Without you, I wouldn't even be here because I went through some of the toughest times of my life, and you were there for me. So whether we're friends or not, I need you to know where I stand, and I love you. And yeah, like, I mean, God doesn't doesn't put anything to your life that He doesn't want you to. And two months later, that relationship was tested, Preach. and he 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 took a, a little a little detour, and literally, I was there every Wednesday on visiting him, seeing him, talking to him. Right now, talking to him, and I literally tell him, "When you're out, it's on me and you. Let's do this. Whatever you need, whatever I'm there. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, I think friends wise, it's just seasons." People are going to have seasons. There's going to be seasons in your life where everybody can be around. There's going to be seasons where not everybody can be around. But as my friend Chris said, said once, lose a person, never lose a lesson. Lose a person, but never lose a lesson. You know what I mean? So kind of where I stand on all that. What was the question? You knew you were going to say that. I freaking knew it. Have you ever experienced a friendship breakup? If so, what did it teach you? 
Um, I feel like we talked about this before. Of like, we're, we don't lose a friendship, but we outgrow them. Mm-hmm. I feel like I have outgrown some friendships, and um, it's just taught me to grow within myself because I ch- I feel like I've changed for the better. I feel like I've grown up a little bit more. I feel like I've taken more responsibility, more just more in depth of how I was as a person. And in doing so, I have lost some friendships. I have of like I just can't be around that anymore. And also a good sign of that is if you stop hitting them up, they're not gonna hit you up. And you can tell like, all right, was that really my friend? Was that really a good friendship? Yeah. So I went through a friendship breakup last year. Sorry. I went through friendship yeah, I went through a friendship breakup last year. And dude, it was tough because yeah, we like the same like Jen, we had been friends for like ten years. Like literally best friends. We did all the important things in life together. We celebrated our birthdays. We went on trips. We just did like so many super like some of my best memories are still with this person. And literally it just went like cold turkey, like no contact, zero, yeah. removed from social media, no text, no nothing. So yeah, it's hard, but it's also like it's like now it's my time to like grow yeah. and make more friends, you know, like I almost, now that I think about it, I feel like I isolated myself to just this one person. Like this is where I spent my weekends or like my important days. This is where I went with just this one person when now I can do it with five. And it's like what I'm not seeing like, this is better. That was better. Like, yeah, it's, no. get it's just like that season of me is over, you know? Yeah. No. And this was a friendship that I had like, right out of high school so i felt like this person knew me knew me knew me and then we drifted apart we came back together and it's like okay then we're meant to be friends we were super dope friends but you know sometimes you make bad choices and then you just lose each other it's it's part of life the sum up of, of that question i just showed it to jen but one deep talk and apology can fix a lot of things but a lot of people are mature enough for that yeah i agree so if you're not mature enough to have that one-on-one conversation about what's going on, yeah, don't waste your time. And it takes a lot because you have to put your pride to the side because you're going to hear a lot of things that you've done wrong. You know, when me and Carol sat down, she told me all the things I was doing wrong. And like I told her what I felt like I was missing from her, you know, and it's hard to hear it back. It's hard, especially when it's someone that you really care for and you really do value what mm-hmm. they say. So it is hard, but. You have to be mature enough and put your pride aside to hear it and willing to take it as, um, how do you say it? I totally went blank. (laughs) (laughs) Um, For me, like I said before, like, I'm like a super forgiving person. Like, I will forgive you just, you know, whatever. As long as you apologize to me, I'm good. Like, that's it. Like, maybe that's really what I'm asking you to do is just apologize. You know, like, that's all you have to do is, like, apologize and be like, hey, I fucked up or... Maybe it's the whole situation that was fucked up, whatever. But um, for me, yeah, an apology literally goes a long way. And I feel like if an apology in any of my past, like, friendship breakups or whatever would have been done, we would have been good. So now is there someone in your life that you haven't had a chance to apologize to and you wish you would have or could apologize to? Can somebody else answer? Oh. <laughs> they... Yeah. Um. Anyone I need to apologize to? Them? Started thinking. I don't know. I mean, if I did ever hurt anyone, and you feel like I was in the wrong, I am sorry. <laughs> um, but I feel like I'm very. I kind of know when I do wrong, and I feel like I have a very guilty heart. Like I. I don't know. I just feel very guilty when I do certain things. So I feel like I always tend to apologize. Maybe. Sometimes, even when it's not my fault, you know, I just like keeping the peace with people. For me, no. <laughs> I, 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 I had a feeling he was going to say that. Uh, I did not think expect about otherwise. It. Definitely, definitely not because I stand by this 10 toes down. I'm going to be the best version of me I could be for you. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, it's we're just not for each other. We don't fit into each other's life. Yo, it's okay. I know I, I did my part. I know I did the most that I can. You feel a certain way. That's that's your issue. That is how you feel. You're entitled to it. You're very much you can. But I'm not. A, I cannot apologize for loving you. I cannot apologize for being there. And I cannot apologize for being 
that person for you. You don't feel that same way about me. It is what it is. Kick rocks. Damn. It is what it is. Kick rocks. Damn. I know. I have to agree with Dusko. Uh, maybe like six months ago, I would be like, ah, like I'm in the wrong or whatever. Like, but now I feel like I've explored every avenue and reassessing of what I could have done or what I may be in the wrong. And you're I, always right. I'm always right. But I try to look at it like a, a third per- person point of view, of like assessing the whole situation. Yeah. And I am very uh, careful and meticulous in how I at least address myself now. Um, and I feel like I sh- I'm, I'm not going to be apologetic for something I haven't done. You sound proper over Damn, there. That was a big <laughs> word out there. Damn, Damn. let me look into the fucking like, dictionary right now. Cause that was, I don't even know what that means. You said it's in a sentence, please? Cause a synonym? Can you say it to my phone so you can Google Translate? <laughs> you? Just my parents. And maybe my nieces and nephews for not always being there. So, sorry to you guys. Mm-hmm. And honestly, also to myself for not believing in myself sooner. Yeah. I feel like just not believing in myself, holding back. Who knows where I would have been, right? If I had actually believed and trusted in what I'm capable of doing just a couple of years back. Thanks. So, yeah. I think we all feel like this. I walk around like everything is okay, but deep down inside, I want to put up my Christmas tree. I know. Christmas. Say something else so much funnier. No, I mean, that was funny, but like, darker. I thought you were gonna say like, I want to eat some tacos or something like that. Because I'm fat. No, I don't know. That's crazy, yeah. right? Wow. Like, that that was crazy. <laughs> I love Christmas though. Yeah, like I, it I is never November first. I'm like Christmas music. No. I like Halloween decor better. I don't. I can certainly like Halloween better, but I like Halloween decor better. I let my sisters take care of Christmas. Does, does that resemble your heart right there? Period. Yeah. Hey, sometimes it's okay. First of all, Look, we're someone... not going to talk about color here. <laughs> all right, baby. <laughs> it was another question. Oh, man. So, I mean, similar route, right? Um, okay. We talked about apologizing to people. Is there someone in your life that you haven't had a chance to think and you would want to think? For everything and anything that they've done in your life. Me. No, I want to go first. That's what oh. I meant. Oh, oh, I was <laughs> like, you guys want to thank me. Thank you. I'm like, thank you to Question me. mark? Just kidding. Um, it was like a, so I want to thank my son for being with me for the time that he was, for teaching me the things that he did. And even though it was like a short-lived life, only me and him, like, know each other the way we do. Like, we only, us, me and him know each other's heartbeat, and a part of him will always live through me, so I want to thank him for that. Don't cry. Let me cry over here. Oh, dang. Yeah. The end. I love that. That's beautiful. Jose, no way. I've recently said thank you to my parents, so now it's more so just, I honestly, I've, I've thanked everybody that I had to already. I just... Uh, just again, thank you to my parents, my mom and dad, obviously my brother. Big uh, inspiration, and you guys keep me going. Oh, cross my heart. That's crazy. Jen? Thank you to my fans, to my haters. No, <laughs> Especially the haters. Where the shades at? Where the shades? They no, broke. They broke. They broke. They don't get the They broke. <laughs> no, um, definitely thanks to my parents. I feel like I don't say that a lot, but definitely thanks to them. Um, and then just thanks to everyone who's like stick by my side through these years. You know, there's a lot of people who have left that I've done a lot for and left. And there's a lot who stayed as well. And I'm focusing more now on those who stayed and celebrating those who did stay and thanking those. So I really appreciate I appreciate those people around me right now. Yeah. Um, I think there's one person that I really got to think that I probably don't give enough credit to. Like just recently has has definitely been my mom, bro. Like my mom is so sacred. Like that I've seen that woman put a smile and put everybody first and put herself last because that's what she feels is what's needed. And just recently, man, with everything that's happened, like this woman has seen me go through every little thing the last this last year and 
the one thing I like I told her is like without you being by my side, being my best friend, being my support system, like I, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't so I thank you for everything you have done, everything you've continued to do for me and for for the kids and for our family. Without my mom, like I don't I think a lot of people just don't understand how much moms really put their kids first and if I could really just in words is thank you. I love you. And I wouldn't be who I am and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Like it is, it is me tesoro. Literally protect at all costs. So definitely someone that, that, you know, cause I can, I can give thanks to, to my friends and to everybody that I always do. And I, I continue to do so, but you know, I, as you know, maybe just as kids, we maybe not tell our parents too many, too many times or too often because we anticipate like, oh, they know, they know. But it's like, nah, you got to tell them. They got to hear it. You know, even though there's sometimes they may be a little hard, cold hearted or, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Like they, they, just like us, we need to hear it. So what makes us think they don't need to hear it? Mm-hmm. They maybe got it less than us. So if we remind them, we tell them, hey, I love you. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for what you have done and what you continue to do. You know, that that may heal something in them. And, you know, you start opening that little channel of conversation with them, you know. So definitely, definitely parents, mothers, fathers, fathers that play the mother role, too, and mothers that play the dad role, too, protect them at all costs. So definitely, man. Man, that was good. Oh yeah, All right. this one said. Someone said. Oh, huh? We could have skipped it, but. Oh no no, go oh, ahead, go no. ahead. Uh, no, uh, I'm in the same boat with you, right? I give you guys the thanks all the time, almost every episode that I'm on. I say thank you guys, but also, similar to you, I want to thank my mom. She brought me into this world, and without knowing it, she saved me countless times. She uh, gave and me she my... can take you right out. <laughs> no, I mean, it's true, right? Uh, she brought me into the world. She gave me my best friend. Not only did she give me my best friend, she's always been my best friend. So she gave me my sister. And then in turn, my sister gave me her kids, those, her kids yeah. yeah, which are in part my kids. So yeah. we'll always be thankful. Man, I love that. All right. Check this one out. Someone said, I deserve to be filled the same way I pour. And I felt that. It's just like, hard there's because unfortunate. people, like, don't love you the way you need to be loved sometimes, right? Like, it goes back to, like, the love languages. Mm-hmm. Like, like my act, my um, way of loving you can be this, but your way of loving me can be something else. So it's, like, you're never going to get it unless you, like, express it. Like, hey, this is, it sounds so cliche or, like, dumb or almost, like, childish, like, girl, what? But, yeah, yeah your love language is, like, a big deal, you know? So it's. The, the only way for you to get love is to tell somebody, like, this is the way I want to be loved. Like, if you can't do that for me, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But then you're going to be, like, in a fucked up situation if you keep expecting it without saying anything. So, it's Like, how can, how can you, how can a person say they love you, but they're the same ones that break you? Then is it real love? I thought so. Drop a name. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Everyone drops a name now. Go. I'm like, all right, we're gonna do that. No wait, hey, so hey, hey, moment, <laughs> moment of silence <laughs> because of silence for the fallen soldiers <laughs> because they lost a real one here. Fight. <laughs> no, yeah, like I think that's that's the most one of the things, whether friendship or romantic, like the people that tell you they love you, but yet they're the same ones that are willing. Not even intentionally, just without even thinking, second guessing yeah. it, like are the ones that to hurt you, the ones that break you. You know what I mean? Because what we go through with each other, only we know. But imagine if one of us turn around and, you know, we break that trust, we break that love. Now, do you feel like you hold these people to a higher standard? So it's like, okay, say I hurt you, you know, and then this other person hurt you. Yeah. So it's like you're obviously not going to be mad at them, but you're going to be mad at me more. Get me? Yeah. It's like, are you holding these people that you give love to to a different standard than other people? 
Yeah, for sure. For sure. If I show you I love you and I show you I care and I show you I'm there, I expect you, I expect it to be reciprocated. Now, if it doesn't come in the way that I, I wish it can or at least minimal, then I just know it's never going to be there. No matter how much I do, no matter how much I give, no matter how much I show up, I know it's never going to come back. So why keep doing it? Why keep pouring into that cup that will never get filled because they just want to keep, keep on taking and taking? And it, it's time for me to stop pouring, and it's time for me to pour into the people that are that are going to give me that back. They are like, hey, I'm, I'm here. You know what I mean? The people that, without even asking for it, showed it. So that's for sure. That's for sure. I thought I already went out. Sure. Did we all go? Yeah, pretty much on that one. Next question. No, I mean, <laughs> it's your turn. It's your question. No, I mean, pretty similar to that question. Oh, okay. Or I guess it kind of goes with it. What's the biggest lesson your last relationship taught you? <laughs> Who wants to answer that one, Jen? Don't, don't date anyone first? on the internet. <laughs> Quiet. No, no, she said, don't date anyone oh. on the internet. Oh. Oh, God. She took one for the team on that one, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone took one for the team, it was Jen. Let's stop. <laughs> um, the ops. It was crazy. It, uh, it, it truly was very is. bold of her. It truly is. But I think what it taught me, though, is, um, you know, sometimes people are not meant to be in your life forever. You know, I had fun. I enjoyed it. It, would, it is what it is now. It was good while it lasted. Yeah, exactly. It was yeah. good for the, you know, for the season. It was good, but. Yeah. Oh, me? I'll answer mm-hmm. it. Don't oh. go for it. Please, please do. Stop expecting you from other people. Mm-hmm. And that goes for literally every relationship, right? Yeah. Uh, romantic or friendship. Stop expecting your loyalty, the same love you give them. Stop expecting you from other people. Dang. You? Wait, can I say the question again? Or can you say it again? What did you your previous oh. relationship taught you? I haven't had any. They were all why the fuck did I <laughs> <laughs> So they taught you what mistakes not to make? Uh-huh. What? They, they were all you? examples not just of what not to do. Yeah, well, of what not to do. <laughs> um, dude, I've not been in a relationship in like a long time. <laughs> but definitely, okay. My last relationship def- definitely taught me to <laughs> do this again. <laughs> to never the fuck. I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'm gonna skip real quick. You can go because I'm like all the thoughts in my head are like super funny and they're wrong and they're very like. <laughs> go for it. Shoot it. No, what the no, hell? No, 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 no. Yeah, Shoot it. I can't Shoot because it. they're gonna. It. No, I can't do that. I mean, I could, right? Why not? Um, go ahead. They're in the past. Yeah. No, but it's like. They're not, they're like, um, <laughs> they're not completely in the past. Her intrusive thoughts are kicking in. Yeah, they're, they're my intrusive thoughts. That's why. There. That's no, why I can't and like, I don't yeah. want to, like, um, it's still there. I know they're on the they're low. Still they're they're on the low. low. I don't want to, like, um, she went from being a star like, player to the bench. my situation because it was pretty bad. Okay. So the thoughts that I have right now, it would be just be downplaying. Like, she, w- she was in the starting lineup, and now he's in a bench. So he could still come off the bench to be in the starting lineup. No, he's not he's even on the roster anymore. He's in the G League right now. He's shit on his ass. Go ahead. Just keep it short and sweet. Just communication. Um, wait, I'm sorry. That, what was the question? <laughs> yeah, I know. I forget too. I was trying to look through right now. I already deleted it. Oh, what, oh. Was... what did your previous relationship <coughs> teach you? Oh, uh, improve on your communication, even within yourself or together. Just learn how to speak up. That was good. That was good. You want me to go next? Yeah, yeah, please. Okay, so my last relationship taught me to not um stop it because i'll start to be funny and it's not funny um it definitely taught me to not um take abuse lightly like any form of abuse um whether it's like mental abuse physical abuse or like anything anything emotional because i did for a very very long time with this person and i allowed it to get to the point where it got physical and it's not okay So definitely, like, the abuse part, like, anytime you feel like you're being used or played, you probably are, go. You got to grab your shit and fucking go because before you, if you stay there, like, it's giving excuses for them and for their actions, whether they were drinking or they were on whatever they were on. 
before you know it, it's going to get physical. You're going to sit in court. You're going to have a restraining order. <laughs> and yeah. you don't want it to get to that point. Definitely. You wouldn't want anyone to get you yeah. um, into that mind state either. Yeah, I've been horrible. through that. I've been through that. And it's, it's like, it's a stage it, in my head where I was like, damn, I will never let anyone get to me like that. Like, first red flag now, I'm like, peace out. I'm done. Yeah. I'm not doing this no And more. that's why I take, like, the abuse thing, like, super, super serious because it could, be, again, like, it could be just be emotional, right? Like, this whole thing, like, the situationship thing, that's a form of abuse. Like, a lot of us, like, it's I'm very sure manipulative do situationships. And, dude, th that's abusive. Like, you're abusing somebody's emotions. Don't do that shit. Like, tell yeah. me what the fuck you want. Or you don't. And yeah. that's it. Being we can call it a day. We don't have to, like, prolong this. We don't have to drag it out. For what? Like, you're abusing me in that sense. Yeah. Where now I'm, like, on a constant thought about you or about what you're doing. Or now I can't sleep at night. And it's like, why are we doing that to each other? Yeah. When we can just not. You know, you're, like, holding up the spot for somebody else. Yeah. That's why I didn't want to say anything earlier. Because <laughs> I was going to be so funny. Like, I was just going to... I think uh, what my last relationship taught me was every time you ask something from someone, make sure you also deliver your part, do your part. You know, don't, don't stop the blessing from being loved by someone and don't let your past trauma, don't let your previous experiences diminish and ruin everything that you got going on right now just because you got something good going on don't let what happened prior ruin what you have going on right now. So, you know, man up to it, own up to it, work on yourself, be better, and don't bring someone into your life until you're ready to show that side of you and give yourself to that person because as much as you deserve to be loved, that person yeah. deserves it also. So don't don't block that blessing for yourself and for them. So, yep. man, another internal in the books. Another turn on the book. So appreciate everybody tapping in, making sure y'all giving your questions and showing us love. And one more time, one more week, we're done. Let's go. Social Life Podcast, you know how we do, baby. Let's go.